Hello guys, welcome to a Minecraft tutorial on how to animate your Minecraft character. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll pretty much be showing you how to animate a Minecraft character. Now, there's three things you're going to need. One of them is man, or two of them actually is mandatory, and the th third one is optional. Alright, so the first thing you'll need is Blender. So go ahead and get Blender. I'll post this link in the description. Uh, pick the right download for your computer. And the second mandatory thing is the blender rig or the character rig alright so here is the character rig go ahead and scroll down and download that and uh, once you download that uh, the optional thing is a minecraft skin stealer now the reason this is optional is because you will need your skin and a lot of people don't have their skin, sha skin shaved skin saved to their computer um, so if you don't you can just use this and get your skin pretty much you're stealing your own skin alright so once you have those things go ahead and open up the minecraft blender rig alright you should be greeted with one file and with that file just go ahead and drag it onto the desktop I'll do that again just for you move and replace it alrighty so we have our blender rig and now we're gonna need blender so go ahead and open up blender and it should look like this. It looks pretty discouraging at first, I know. It's not that bad. Alright, so once you see this screen, just go up to File, Open, and open up the Minecraft Blender Rig. Now, it should look like this. You can go ahead and zoom in with this uh, mouse scrolling thingy, the mouse wheel. And uh, once you're sc uh, fully scrolled in, or as much as you'd like, I mean, you could, you could go on for ages. Uh, anyways, as soon as you're at the uh, area that you'd like, Go ahead and go over here and click this little button right next to terrain.png and go to reference skin. Now the reference skin is pretty much this character right here. Now this is where your skin is needed. Go click the button next to it called image and replace the image. Replace it with your skin and there you go. Now if you don't have your skin, go ahead and open up Minecraft Skin Stealer. Okay, blah blah blah. Alright, and type in your username, mine's Master Luke 2. View the skin. And there you go, just go ahead and steal the skin and download it to your desktop. Alrighty. So go ahead and put your skin in. Now I don't know why the head is black, I, I really don't. Um, if I find out a fix, I'll post a video on how to fix it. But as of right now, it's not really important. Alright, so once you have this, your character is there and all. Go ahead and go over to this black box next to it and right click it oh I'm sorry go down here and click this little button under it and go to properties so that sets it to the properties tab but you'll notice it's all horizontal so what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click it and go to vertical now you ought to all of a sudden have all of this properties panel that it's not really needed right now alright so once you've done that go ahead and go down here and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna change this little bottom area you're going to change that to the timeline. So your timeline is now down here. And now you're ready to animate. So, to get started with animating, what you're going to do is you're going to go and right click on your character. That'll cause two arrows to come to come up. And uh, I don't know what I I don't know what that was. Uh, anyways, so you right click your character and you'll notice a little body icon appear down here. Go ahead and click the body icon scroll down and click x-ray so all of a sudden you'll notice that you have bones bones that you can move alright so now you can change how your bones look personally I like b-bone I find it easiest to control alright so hopefully now your character looks like this so what we'll do is we'll make a little jumping animation and after he's jumping we're just gonna make him wave because you know why not Alright, now to get started animating, what you're going to do is you're going to click both the red button down here that says record and the keys button next to it. It'll create key scenes for every single time that something happens. Alright, so we said we'd make him jump. Now if he's going to jump, he's going to have to start spreading his legs. Alrighty, so he's, he begins with spreading his legs, moving his head up, bringing his arms up. Now this just takes practice. I'm moving a little bit fast, but this is honestly you can't mess up with the animating part the only thing that you can really mess up is making it look bad spread his legs a little bit more 
slowly raising his arms up to a nice full jump alrighty oops did not mean to do that and as he's jumping up he jumps up to about there as he's coming back down his arms are slowly coming back down alrighty right about there right about there bring him down a little bit more alrighty bring his arms at his side bring his legs down here oops sorry, I almost just drug him off okay bring his legs back to his normal state bring his head back now this is not going to be the best animation at all it's going to be actually really bad alright so now he's going to do his waving animation so just go ahead and bring up his arm as if he's about to wave towards you like he's excited to see you he just jumped and now he's going to wave at you alright so for waving animation this is pretty much what you do alrighty So, there you go. Um, one more, and then we'll call it quits with his waving. Now he's slowly bringing his arm back down. There he goes. All right, so we just finished our animation. Once you're done, go back to the camera icon, scroll down, and you'll see this little button that says PNG. You want to change that to AVI codec, because now it'll make it a movie. It won't make it a bunch of images like... I had a bunch of images, like a thousand, saved to my desktop because I made a really long animation. And if you don't want them all saved to your desktop or a certain folder, make it an AVI codec so it turns it into a movie. Alright, so once it's that AVI codec, go ahead and go to this little folder icon and select the destination you'd like to save it to with its name. For this, we're just going to call it Tutorial. Tutorial Wave. Wait. And Jump. Actually, it's a jump and a wave. It's not really important, but I mean, there you go. So accept it over here, and now we'll render it. Now the rendering, uh, make sure you go up here. All I did was scroll up and click the animation button. So now it's going to render, and I'll see you guys when it's done rendering. Now rendering, it honestly it takes a little while, but I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and... Uh, Subscribe if you'd like to see more animations or more tutorials on how to animate your character. I'm happy to do them. I mean, I learned how a long time ago, and I figured, you know what? A lot of people want to learn how to animate, so I figured, you know what? Why not? Okay. <laughs> so on that note, I'll see you guys later. Uh, subscribe, like it, do do whatever with it. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> see you guys later.